Hello and welcome back all my Dragon Ball theorists and we knew we had two universes on the ropes this week in Universe 2 with three fighters and of course Universe 6 with the two Namekians. I really enjoyed how they split up the action of the two fights even though I never got to see Zerloin do anything cool but instead turn into Rebrienne through the power of love. Everyone's look on their face was like that just happened. I didn't see the remaining three fighters absorbing the power of love coming, but at least it was consistent with their theme. The memes from this episode will run strong, and I did think that the pretty black hole heart was fitting last attack and them laying everything on the line. Then on the other side, a hard fought battle with Gohan and Piccolo versus Sionel and Perina of Universe 6 who are far stronger than the average Namekian, being that they were fighting with the power of everyone from their planet Namek. Through the trusty use of fusion, they attained far greater powers. They were able to handle Piccolo and cause him some big trouble. I really enjoyed how we got this moment of back when Piccolo saved Gohan so long ago, but this time around Gohan can not only dodge, but he can also block, saving Piccolo from certain defeat from that attack. Gohan then powering up and I am glad for the Gohan fans, he held off two Super Namekians while Piccolo charged his special beam cannon. So they definitely did Gohan some justice here in showing off well against them both, but it did come down to this moment. Goku needing to go Super Saiyan Blue yet again, really pushing himself and starting a Kamehameha to break free while at the same time Gohan does the same. So there was this epic Kamehameha battle in two fights which made this episode's action really well done. I do like that Gohan still got help from Piccolo in the end to seal the deal, eliminating the Universe 6 Namekians at the same time Goku's Kamehameha took out the three fighters of Universe 2. So that is all she wrote, and both universes must now be erased, and the Grand Priest loves his job a little bit too much. I will say one thing, the Universe 2 stuck with love right up to the very end, although for me, I have a far greater attachment to the characters of Universe 6 that we got to know so well. Kaba and Hit looking on, getting erased together as Kaba wishes Vegeta good luck. Champa staring at his brother Beerus and you know he wanted to say something, but instead staying in character till the very end giving his brother the stank eye. Beerus composed, but I feel for him. His brother that he has known forever is now gone. For me moving forward, I thought something like this was going to happen and I think that they did a great job of writing this episode. There are only four universes left and now it's time to get serious. You can see Vegeta is now finally about to get dead serious from here on out. His disciple Kaba just got erased and he is in a bad mood, come at me. Gohan took part in another universe getting erased. Goku did the same and hit who he has enjoyed fighting against and with is now erased. The atmosphere here on a tournament stage is about to change. This tournament was always a serious situation, but now it's the fourth quarter and time is running out. There is only 13 minutes left and I think that the really crazy part of the tournament is about to finally begin. I think the build up now of emotions will really start to show on Goku, then Gohan, and finally Vegeta. One thing is for sure, you don't want to give Saiyans any more reasons to fight and win. Now I want to know what you guys think, did they do a great job of handling both the universes being erased? What was your favorite and most sad moment of this episode? Thanks for watching and have a great rest of the weekend, I always love to read your theories in the comments below and don't forget to hit that like button and please subscribe to support the channel in order to keep those theories coming.